In some versions of Superman's origin, like in the 1978 movie and in Superman the Animated Series, Clark Kent finds out everything he wanted to know about where he came from in one handy holographic message from his biological parents. While the TV series Smallville had communications with Jor-El, it didn't give Clark or the audience everything all at once, but rather it parsed out tidbits over the years in the form of human astronomers who had secret Kryptonian messages and a series of caves belonging to the Kawachi people with Kryptonian language written on the walls. It turns out, since centuries before the series began, an unknown Kryptonian came to Earth and interacted with the Kawachi people, explaining the Kryptonian words written on the wall. This is just one example of the series trying something different that hadn't been done before in Superman media. I like seeing the series try new things, especially in regards to the Superman lore. Even if it didn't always work out, at least they were trying something. But what I did not like about the Kawachi Caves was the introduction of a prophecy in Kawachi culture, featuring figures named Naman and Sagith. Naman was a traveler from the stars with extra powers and Sagith was like a brother to Naman, until one day, the two became bitter enemies. Does any of this sound familiar? I hate prophecies. Off the top of my head, I cannot think of one that I think was done well in fiction. For one, it takes away the free will and agency of the characters we came here to watch. If Lex is destined to become a bad guy, then none of his actions matter, do they? Let's just skip past this 10-year origin thing and get into the stuff this prophecy is prophesying. But also, how in the world did this prophecy get foretold in the first place? Kryptonians aren't really mystical, are they? They can't see into the future, otherwise they'd have taken more precautions about their planet getting blown up, right? So whoever came to the Kawachi people and gave them the Kryptonian language, how did he know what was going to happen to Clark and Lex? Or was this something that happened to the Kryptonian who came to the Kawachi? He or she was Naman, and then one of the Kawachi was Sagith. And then centuries later, Clark and Lex happened to fit very snugly into these archetypes. Look, we all know Lex is going to become a criminal mastermind. Clark is eventually going to have dual identities combating evil. These two will become big bitter enemies. So yes, we know they are preordained to go in those directions, but I want that to come from the choices the characters make, which the series kind of tried to do, but when you throw a half-baked prophecy in there as well, it kind of reduces the effectiveness of these two choosing their own futures. I think the series would have been just fine having the Kryptonian language be on the cave walls and having Clark learn more about his people's history through the caves, but we did not need an on-the-nose prophecy about Clark and Lex. Not only was it unnecessary, it actually hurt the series, but that's just my opinion. Opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know and I'll be seeing you folks in the future with some other kind of video. Until next time, have a good one.